Hi, my name is Rosephany Powell, and I am the composer of Then, Here, and Now, a cycle of four art songs based on African-American spirituals. Each song reflects my visceral and emotional reactions to dramatic events which transpired during 2020. As I observe the worldwide sadness and grief of the COVID-19 pandemic, the death of George Floyd and widespread protests around the world, I became emotionally exhausted. Tears were my daily companion, expressing what could not be uttered. In time, words came, not my own words, but the words of the African-American spiritual. Intuitively, they came the way my grandmother sang and hummed them with her Bible in hand. The words and melodies of the spiritual gave voice to my sorrow, just as they did for my grandmother and my ancestors during slavery. Thus the title, Then, Here, and Now, which refers to the spiritual's enduring messages of hope, strength, healing, and justice. Because of their universal messages, it is my intention for then, here, and now to be performed and embraced by people of all races, cultures, nationalities, and backgrounds. My hope is that these songs will be cathartic for both the singer and the audience. Each song is composed as a succinct statement of the main idea of the original folk song. As such, it does not utilize the entire spiritual, meaning words, melodies, rhythms, harmonies, and form, which will be indicative of an arrangement or adaptation. These are actually unique songs based on the original spiritual. Healing employs as its lyrics the refrain of the spiritual, there is a bomb in Gilead. COVID-19, the global pandemic, which ravaged the world, serves as the impetus for this song. Healing expresses the unyielding hope of both the one who suffers and the caregiver that there will be relief from suffering. The piano plays an interlude which represents the trickling of the healing balm, the medicine, which grows into a river of balm for the healing of the sufferer. The flowing of the balm continues throughout the song until the final measure, which represents the slowing flow of the balm to a trickle and then a halt upon the healing of the sufferer. Oppression is defined as the exercise of power in an unjust manner or the experience of being heavily burdened to the point of feeling or being powerless to control one's life and destiny. The spiritual go down Moses on which oppression is composed uses as its text the biblical account of Moses, the leader of the Israelite people who is charged with confronting Pharaoh, the ruler of the Egyptians, to demand that the Israelites be set free from slavery. The African-American slaves use this story to empower themselves to resist slavery, boldly confront their oppressors, and courageously attempt escape to freedom. Today, oppression can exist in the form of bullying, domestic violence, human trafficking, discrimination, as well as harassment and microaggression in the workplace, to name a few. This song is a call to each of us to resist oppression in any of its forms. Throughout the COVID pandemic, and again on May 25th, 2020, as I watched George Floyd die on the streets of Minneapolis, as he cried out for his mother with his last breaths, I began to sing the spiritual, I want to die easy when I die. This art song sets the original text of the spiritual with additional words and a new melody. The calmness of a quiet death is depicted in the simplicity of the vocal line, which should be sung with ease. The voice is supported by light and area accompaniment, which depicts a quiet, radiant morning. 
The brief contrasting section, shout salvation as I fly, tell my mother not to cry, expresses Floyd's desperate plea for his mother while dying. As well, it can express the desperate cries of those who died alone in hospitals during COVID-19. On May 26, 2020, the walls came tumbling down as peaceful protests grew violent in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and around the world. Protest, which sets the lyrics and extracts rhythmic and melodic material from the spiritual Joshua fought the Battle of Jericho, depicts the intense battles between police and protesters through the fast and steady tempo of a piano accompaniment comprised of ostinato, agitated rhythms, strong syncopation, and accented chord clusters. At the very end of the song, the walls of oppression are heard tumbling down as descending chromatic eighth notes in the piano bring the song to a climactic ending. I hope that you enjoy then, here, and now. <laughs> 